take a look at some of the great drag and drop functionality found within Cubase, which can really speed up your workflow. MIDI files and audio files that are on your computer's desktop can be dragged right into your project. Now when dragging MIDI files in, there's a couple preferences to be aware of which can affect the behavior. So if we go to our preferences and under MIDI select a MIDI file, by default Cubase will automatically instantiate a Howling Sonic SE multi-timbral instrument, but you could also send it directly to instrument or MIDI tracks. If we have a chord track available in our project, I could drag the chord track information to a MIDI track and it will automatically now generate those chords to be played on that particular MIDI track. When Finder or Explorer is open, we could take any standard audio file and drop it right into your project and you'll get the import options dialog box by default. Here we could choose to copy the files to the working directory or we could choose to convert project split channels. And if we don't wanna see that dialog box show up every single time we drag a file in, we could go to your Cubase to preferences and then under editing audio, we could choose to use predefined settings or to just have the open options dialog box show up on a case by case basis. Multiple projects in Cubase can be accessed and we could, if we wanted to drag parts from one project into another, I could select from an inactive project directly to an active project. And now we could have all those different parts, MIDI and audio, directly into our project. Our audio pool will keep track of all of the different audio files that have been recorded or being used in a particular project. So if I wanted to take a particular file from my pool and place it into a different location, we could do that very easily. Our media bay can keep track of all the relevant media such as audio files, project files, MIDI files, MIDI loops, track presets, instrument and effect plugin presets. And if we wanted to drag and drop from media bay, let's say even a video file, I could drop that right in and we could open up our video window by hitting F8 and we could immediately start scoring to our video. The media can also be accessed on the right hand tab area. So if we click on media and if I wanted to go through different loops, I could select my loops and samples and go through different libraries. So if I wanted to drag a file directly into my timeline, it will be added directly at the bottom of the track. If I wanted to drag and create a track in the middle, I could see this where you see the green line, and now when I let go, it'll drag and drop and place it at the position of the cursor, but, and it will add a track for us automatically. If we wanted to be very creative with our audio in dragging and drop, we could enable our sampler track. So here I could take any audio file directly from my media bay on my right hand zone, and I could drag and drop and immediately play it via MIDI. If I wanted to drag and drop from my project window, just drag and drop again. Now many of our instruments will also have drag and drop capabilities such as Groove Agent SE5. So when we look at Groove Agent SE, we could have pattern pads or instrument pads. The instrument pads could hold up to 32 different velocity layers per pad. So if I wanted to take a audio file here, I could drag and drop directly onto a pad, trigger that pad. But let's say I want to be more creative with the loop. I could go to my slice menu and now we could create slices where we can isolate each of the different sounds. And this will create a pattern automatically that could be dragged and dropped. So just like MIDI information that can be dragged and dropped and now we could construct and deconstruct our different loops uh, using drag and drop functionality in Groove Agent. Our media bay will also allow us to access 
different virtual instruments. So I could see all my different instruments. We could expand or collapse their view so we could see them all graphically. If I wanted to see them just by name, I could click on this icon and now I could just see my different synthesizers by names. But if I wanted to add a instrument via drag and drop, I could just go to my instrument panel here. So if I wanted to add a retro log and just drag it and now it'll automatically create a particular instrument track that's automatically been defined to that instrument. If I wanted to see more based on name, so let's say if I come here and I can see graphically, we'll go to our retro log and now I could go through different presets and I could select a preset and just drag that preset between two different tracks and that will automatically load that preset with the instrument. So not only can we preview it here, but then just drag and drop and create the instrument track and have that particular preset loaded. We wanted to have similar functionality with our VST effects. So if we go back to our VST effects, and if I wanted to add inserts quickly, I could again see everything graphically laid out for me. So if I wanted to come here and let's look at our dynamics plugins, and if I wanted to add this to my top track, I could just drag it straight over to the track. And we see that arrow go to the, with the, on the green arrow and the red there that will automatically place that particular plugin in the insert slot. So if I wanted to go to add another plugin, we could do that. And if I wanted to, at this point, just add a plugin to a particular slot, such as a post fader slot, I could drag it to my inserts. And if I wanted to change the order of the plugins, again, drag and drop. If we want to work with effects that are generally used for sends, such as reverbs, we'll come here, collapse all of our views. And if I wanted to add a send or an effects channel track, I could go to my reverb here and say, I wanted my revelation. And at this point, it'll just add that as our effects send so that all of my channels can now access my reverb. Now there's many great presets that are used in Cubase that a lot of people don't take advantage of. So let's say if I was starting a project, one of the great things is if you go to presets, you could actually go to track presets. So at this point, let's say I was looking for an acoustic guitar. I could just come over here to a track preset that I've created or one that's been done at the factory and that will add the track. And when we look at that particular track, it's going to add not only our EQs, our inserts, but all of our channel strip settings. So if I wanted to just drag and drop another track preset, that will automatically update that. So again, this will include our EQs, channel strips, and inserts. If I wanted to just have access not only to different presets. So I could just say, we're gonna to go to our presets. Let's get to our channel strip presets. I could drag those to a particular track and we'll see our channel strip just update immediately as well. So if we want to experiment with a lot of different effects chains, which can basically allow us to load up chains of insert effects, we can drag and drop directly onto our effects chains like so. So very easy to navigate. We also wanted to have some great functionality when working drag and drop with different parts such as drums using our direct offline processing. So I'm going to select all these drums and let's open up our direct offline processing by hitting F7. and Let's say one of the effects that I wanted to apply is Magneto. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll just play and listen to our drums. So I'll select these particular tracks. And now if I wanted to just search, I could drag and drop the Magneto plugin and it will process and I could just tweak that will automatically process the magneto sound. 
let's come over here to the flanger if I wanted to apply a flanger or let's say an envelope shaper so this is rendered those particular files just by dragging and dropping so now if I wanted to just remove, uh, let's say the Magneto plugin, I could remove that at any time without affecting the original uh, other processes. So I'll just go ahead and delete that and we'll leave our envelope shaper. But what's really handy is I could actually just select, you know, if I wanted to go to my mix console and we could look at our different uh, insert effects here, I could drag and drop a whole effects chain preset that I've loaded up directly onto my offline processes. And I could just take all those processes and apply those. So I could just select a file, drag the inserts over, that will automatically render the inserts for you. So as you can see, working with the drag and drop functionality in Cubase can really significantly speed up your workflow and give you very creative results. If you have found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.